Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how we can perform image encryption using Palier homomorphic encryption crypto system. This presentation is a part of our introduction to cryptography course project. Every day a large number of photos are uploaded to image sharing and image editing websites as their popularity grows. Attackers can access the server hosting the user's photographs resulting in the leak of private data due to which the security of these sites and their servers cannot be trusted as a result the goal is to create a crypto system that encrypts images before storing them on the server and decrypts the image from the server when the user requests it to execute various operations on the photos we employ the palier homomorphic encryption crypto system for the production of secure keys the palier crypto system requires a large prime integer We begin by multiplying two huge prime integers of a predetermined bit length and generating a random number to create the public key for the crypto system. The private key is produced using a function that accepts two prime numbers as input and returns the product of those two primes. Each pixel of the image is supplied as an integer value to the encryption algorithm to encrypt it. The pixels of the encryption picture are decoded using modular operations during the decryption process. The public key and the image to be encrypted are passed to the encrypt image function as parameters. The image is turned into a pixel array then. Each pixel in the array is iterated through and encrypted using an encryption method. The encryption system encrypts plain text values to cipher text using Palier crypto system. The encryption function then returns the cipher image array as a result. To decrypt the image, the public key, private key and cipher image are provided to Palier decryption function each cipher each cipher image value is decoded here and a plain image array is created range validation is conducted after getting the encrypted image array any pixel value that decodes to a value greater than 255 is set to 255 and any pixel value that decodes to a value less than 0 is set to 0 the array's final image is reshaped with the required functions here We have taken the Lena image for experimental purposes. We pass the public key and the original image as parameters to the encryption function. The encrypted image is then passed to the decryption function and we obtain the original image back. The decrypted image may contain some noise due to the range validation performed in the pixels in the middle stages. This slide shows the encryption and decryption results for the airplane image. This slide shows the encryption and decryption results for the baboon image. So, coming to the conclusion, to generate keys, we need to select two prime numbers of equal bit length. If the bit length is kept high, then encryption and decryption functions will take much time due to the complexity of modular arithmetic operation. Thus, there is a trade-off between security and time complexity when choosing the optimal bit length. second we can observe from the results that the encrypted image in all cases contain a scattered image completely different from the original image thus even if an attacker gains access to this encrypted image he or she would not be able to decrypt the image without knowing the underlying implementation details now i will demonstrate the working of our algorithm this is the implementation part of our code Firstly, we have imported all the necessary Python libraries like PI, Python image library, NumPy, and all. Then we create the public key and private key using the generate key function. Here, in the generate key function, we create two random primary integers of bit length one twenty eight, and pass it into the this class functions of private key and public key to generate a private key. Okay. Now we upload the image into our code. using this line now we will pass the public key and the image which we have generated earlier into this image encryption function which encrypts our image using this code it returns an array of the encrypted text next we have used the our homomorphic encryption function increase brightness which increases the brightness of the encrypted image by a factor k 
where we have taken the value of k as 30. Here is this function. We pass it on that increased brightness encrypted array into an image decryption method which will decrypt this array and form an image using the public key and the private key which we have generated over here and it will store it into an PIL object, image object in I. Here is the image decryption method. And finally, we will show our decrypted image. We will also show our encrypted image and our initial image. Thank you. We will go towards the running of this code. Now we will run the main.py file in the terminal. So we have we have obtained the product of two prime numbers. So this is our de decrypted image. Now let's look at the encrypted image. As you can see, the encrypted image is scattered and it is completely different from the uh, original image. So we can see that we have obtained a good encryption on the image. Now we will demonstrate the implementation of our code. 